Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Anyway, I just read an interesting article written by Bruce Wilds entitled, Billionaire Tax is a ploy to take eyes off bigger problems. I think this is an issue worth discussing now. Before I start the video, I will briefly explain the author's biography. Bruce Wilds is the author of the book Advancing Time. The book focuses on how the ever-quickening pace of change impacts today's society and the massive challenges it creates. He feels that it is crucial we understand that we are living in a unique era the likes never before experienced by past generations. This is particularly important as we sail into an uncharted future where we often find we are in a take-no-prisoners environment. As a contractor in the Midwest with holdings that include apartments and office complexes, he is anchored to reality and the economy as he maintains designs and leases buildings. This has made him keenly aware of rapidly changing lifestyles. Okay, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In sports, the term head fake is used to describe the act of moving the head in such a way as to deceive an opponent as to one's intended direction or move. The idea of a billionaire tax to tax the super rich with the idea they will pay for all the gifts the government wants to shower on the people is such a distraction. The idea we can level a playing field that is totally tilted to favor the rich by taxing them after billions of dollars are transferred into their coffers through questionable policies is BS. Politicians are about to embark on a bit of expensive theater to give the impression they can address inequality through increasing taxes on the ultra-rich. This will fail. What we need are policies that promote small businesses. Small businesses provide choice, and choice is freedom. Freedom to live as you wish, and options on how you shape your future. Freedom stands in total opposition to the World Economic Forum idea that by 2030 you will own nothing and be happy. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Let us assume that what ProPublica found is true. While the median American household earning roughly $70,000 per year paid 14% in federal taxes each year, the 25 richest Americans, by Forbes tally, paid a true tax rate of just 3.4% on wealth growth of $401 billion between 2014 and 2018. If so, you can understand why those households with a $70,000 per year income are steamed. ProPublica also claims that since the beginning of the CV-19 pandemic, billionaires have seen a 70% increase in their wealth, from nearly $3 trillion to almost $5 trillion. So, what exactly is in this billionaire's tax bill, and how would it work? Nobody really knows, because the devil is in the details, and those remain few and far apart. Supposedly, the proposal would only impact taxpayers with more than $1 billion in assets, or those with incomes of more than $100 million for three consecutive years. This means the tax would apply to only about 700 of the wealthiest people in America. The billionaire tax is an attempt to convince the American people the government can bring in more revenue to help offset the massive spending proposed by progressive Democrats and the Biden administration. Such a ploy massively distracts from addressing the unfolding economic nightmare unleashed upon the American people. It also does little to alter the reality of growing inequality, a weakening economy, and the growing political divide that rips at our nation. The hole being created by the loss of choice and options can never be corrected by merely transferring wealth to the least wealthy. Once spent, this money quickly returns to those at the top. I contend that today many of the super-rich are capitalist crones and shills of the government. They have been anointed to carry out the mission placed upon them by the super-powerful that pull the strings of society. Make no mistake, this BS is a pile of crap dished out to us by progressives so they can unleash their massive spending plan and transfer wealth to those supporting them. 
When you label something as free, you tend to get a lot of takers, and this time they are promising a gift to almost everyone. The answer is, to create a system, where certain individuals have not been given favored status in the first place. Governments are often behind where many of these billionaires have gotten their profits in the first place. Jeff Bezos and Amazon had the aid of a tax system, no sales tax on online sales, and the United States Postal Service, below-cost deliveries, to propel it forward. Also, politicians rushed to give the company special deals for locating distribution systems in their area, local long-time businesses be damned. Tesla and Apple follow the same storyline. Elon Musk has sucked on the government teat to where everything he does is subsidized. While it is still debated whether electric vehicles are better for the environment, the masses told by the mass media and the government that has never demonstrated much insight to creating a compelling sustainable future have declared them our savior. Before that, it was Steve Jobs. People tend to forget how much of Apple's success flowed from the government buying and filling schools with Apple computers that were produced overseas. Two big issues, the first, these taxes will not stay on the super rich, they will morph into a system that works its way downward to the upper middle class. Second, the super rich will avoid such a tax like the plague and shape any legislation to avoid affecting them. The super rich employs an army of pencil pushers and experts with only one intention, and that is to exploit loopholes in the tax code. It is difficult to ignore how our government has battered small businesses since CV-19 entered the picture. The one thing you can count on is that it is more about giving the impression we are now asking, no, requiring the wealthy elite to give back some of the wealth showered upon them. If that were ever to happen, which I doubt, we can expect to be told to stop criticizing them for taking so much. All in all, I call this noise about a billionaire tax BS. Pigs will likely sprout wings and fly before anything gets done to address the true causes behind inequality. Tomorrow politicians will be off on another tangent. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.